The Error Room, the best example of a blessing and a curse in The Binding of Isaac. You might think to yourself, BD1P, I know just about everything I need to know about error rooms. And I'm here to tell you that you probably don't, so stick around and you might learn something. First, I'll give a general overview of what an error room is, how to find them, and the benefits that they provide. Then, we'll list some of the drawbacks. And finally, I'll give my top 10 things you need to know about error rooms. So, first off, what is an error room? Well, an error room is a special room found in Isaac that can only be accessed by certain teleportation items, such as Undefined, Teleport 2.0, you get the drill. These rooms consist of a glitchy brown floor, a custom shopkeeper, and usually a vast array of things you wouldn't normally see on your very average Isaac run. You can find a ton of useful stuff in these rooms, from angel statues to eternal chests, and beggars to IV machines. These rooms are chock full of extra juice to truly help you take your run to the next level. Now there are a very select few ways you can access these rooms, and I'll list them now. As a side note, not every single teleportation item can bring you here, so if I leave one out, it's probably for that reason. We have Teleport 2.0, Undefined, Telepills, using red key at the end of the map, using blank card of the question mark card, or in this current patch, any black market will bring you to an error room. This includes glitching out of bounds inside of one. So we covered how you find them, but what exactly is the point of them? Well, every air room has an exit at the next floor of the game, so if you want to leave a floor early, you can do just that. Also, as previously mentioned, these rooms are full of just a ton of rewards. I mean, sure, you can encounter bosses like Ragman in here, but he's usually also paired with a ton of items, consumables, and other things to boost your power. The way I personally play around them is viewing them as more of like an extra item room per floor, because more often than not, that's how they function. While gathering footage for this video, here are the more unique room layouts that I found. And as you can see, there is a lot going on here. So we talked about what they are, how to find them, and some of the benefits, but what about the drawbacks? Well, the biggest drawback that I've encountered is accidentally finding one of these on Depths 2 before I grab either the Polaroid or the negative, meaning I can't do Darkroom, Chest, or Ascension on that run. The other drawback would be finding one on Womb 2, since the game will randomly choose a final path for you. However, since you have agency in entering them, there really isn't much of any drawback as long as you're careful about when you see them. They are quite frankly just bonuses. With that long-winded explanation out of the way, here are the top 10 things you need to know about error rooms. <clears throat> Subscribe to my channel, any of the validation, thank you very much. Number 10, Zelda Reference. The I Am Error Room name is actually a reference to The Legend of Zelda 2, in which you can talk to a villager who says the phrase, I Am Error. This really isn't that surprising to find out, I mean Zelda is Isaac's greatest influence. The name could also be a reference to this room being a failsafe when the game breaks. Number 9, Skipping Ascension. Ever bring a run down to Ascension, but change your mind? Well, if you encounter an error room with the black market bug, you can actually get put back into the normal path with Womb 2, in case you can't handle the beast heat. Sadly, you cannot encounter error rooms normally on this floor, you'll have to get some insane item luck to pull this off. Number 8. The only Ascension Special Rooms Despite no secret, super secret, shops, or any other special rooms appearing on Ascension aside from the item room, you can actually encounter error rooms the normal way. The exit on these rooms will, as normal, bring you to the next floor of the game. This means with Teleport 2.0, you can have guaranteed error rooms as long as you find a battery on the ground after your devil deal. Number 7, The Shopkeeper The keeper found in the error room can actually be found outside of it in other parts of the game. Like that rare room in the depths too that has a trapdoor down to the womb. But did you know you can actually spawn this guy into the game without console? If you find the combination of blank card and the double active card, using it on almost any final path in the game will result in the shopkeeper spawning. Hey, doesn't he kinda look like Edmund? 
Number 6, Void Portal. Although the Isaac Wiki claims the air room cannot be accessed on the chest or dark room, you can still manage to do so using the current patch's black market glitch. The cool thing about this is that instead of having a trap door that brings you back to the beginning of the floor, it actually spawns a void portal instead, allowing you to go to delirium if your run permits it, making this the only other way in the game to guarantee a void portal aside from beating Hush. Number 5, Looping Void. Speaking of void, did you know that void is one of only just two final chapters you can actually loop with error rooms? You don't even need the black market glitch because they actually spawn normal on this floor, making it the only final floor with naturally spawning error rooms in the game. But what's the other final chapter you can loop with error rooms? Looping home? Yeah, that's right. Home is the only other floor in the game that allows infinite looping with error rooms. With the right setup, this could lead to multiple copies of Inner Child, essentially making you invincible. How would you pull this off? Well, fanny pack, old bandage, sharp plug, we need to go deeper, Pluto, and Mars can make this viable, albeit rare, strategy. Number 3, Two Homes. If you're going to try and loop home, don't sleep in the bed first. For whatever reason, if you sleep in the bed, you're brought to stage 13A, called Dogma Home. When on 13A, you will no longer be able to loop home at all. You'll just be stuck in an infinite trap door that brings you back to the room you started it in. Kinda lame. Number 2, Killing Mother's Shadow. If you somehow manage to enter an error room during the Mind's Escape sequence, it'll count as leaving the room being one of the only ways to actually kill Mother's Shadow. And finally, number one, the Beast Softlock. If you somehow manage to get an air room without console during the Beast fight, the trapdoor will then bring you down to a version of Dogma Home with no boss fight or exit, essentially softlocking your run. Oops. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, remember to like and comment to help boost this in the algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this. Until next time, gamers.